We're talking pitching on this episode, and this big guy is Jared Hughes out of the Reds' bullpen. And, Jared, let's make believe that you're coaching a, a team of young pitchers, and they're anxious to learn from a big leaguer like yourself. And so start where you start. I mean, like, where do you stand on the mound? What are you thinking about when you're up here? And what is your best basic advice for young pitchers? Well, to start with, quality work is the most important thing. And not just that, but consistent quality work. So being able to go to the field every day, or a couple times a week at least, and working hard and doing a good job with your work, practice does really help. And I, as a professional player, I practice all the time throughout the off season. I think that's why I'm here. So what you need to practice, that's the next question. All right. All right, so for me, there's some basics of pitching, and these basics stay the same all the way through. There's, stu there's stuff still to this day that I work on that I was working on when I was 10, 11, 12 years old. I worked on it all the way up, and it's still our keys for me. The first one is a balance point. It's very simple. Uh, it's just that I'm sure everybody has heard of the balance point. You come set, you lift your leg. You get to this in the windup or the stretch, and you're loaded over that back leg, over the rubber, and this is where you're really going to gather your energy before you go home to home plate. So if the, the very first thing I'm, I'm saying for pitching, quality work, work on the balance point. Now, when you say work on the balance point, does that mean exactly what you're doing right there, like stand on one leg and see how long you can do that and stay in balance? Sure, that's a good, that's a good, good question. Uh, I would say the first thing to do is, yeah, just work on that. Very basic. Uh, get on one leg. It's an easy balance drill. Maybe have someone, here you go, throw me the ball. Whoa! <laughs> right? <laughs> so my balance needs to get a little better. But at the same time, uh, it can always improve. No one's perfect. All right, now, I notice immediately when you, when you take to the rubber, yeah, I mean, some guys are over here. As you can see that there's a hole in front of the rubber. You're way over here on the third base side. Right. Tell us about that. It's different strokes for different folks. A lot of it has to do with how your ball moves at home plate. For me, I'm a two-seam, I'm a sinker slider guy. My ball goes opposite directions. and. I really want to make sure I can get in on lefties. It's my, it's my weakness, if you will. So I'm going to give myself every opportunity to get the ball in on a left-handed hitter in order to open up the sinker down and away to them, because that's my strength. So I go on this side of the mound, just because it helps me uh, get into lefties. It gives I, you better perspective at the plate. Right, exactly. And I never move, because if you start moving based on pitches, then all of a sudden they see that and they'll know yeah. what you're throwing. Interesting stuff right yeah. there from Jared Hughes. We will learn a lot more about him as we continue our visit with him about pitching. We'll say goodbye right now, but we'll see you next time.